Well, good morning, Enderbed fans, and welcome to the preview for uh, Scottsville with the Sunday, the 4th of February. And after a most impressive win from Sandringham Summit, I thought he'd win like that, as we said, uh, needed to be ridden a bit closer to the pace, and certainly was. He absolutely cantered in, and I don't see a three year old that can beat him. I think he is just top, top class. Well done to David Nivenez, and I see he lost his big owner's horses. Um, we all seem to have gone to Durban to Tinny Prince Lure. Some of them are running today, and that's where we picked this up anyway. That's a real shame because David Nivenhazen, I think, is an exceptionally good trainer. Anyway, race one, 12.30. Uh, this is a, a juvenile plate, 1,000 meters. What's interesting is that Barra Buertas makes a little raid to Durban. Now, Barra Buertas is a very, very good trainer as well. He's taken quid pro quo. He gets five and a half kilos from the three winners, and that would give him a very big chance with um, the two-year-old filly. She ran a really nice race first time out in a pretty fast time. And I like Fine One. I think this is a decent horse. His time is faster than just reckless over the course and distance. And um, I really like the way uh, he won a second time out. Uh, he absolutely doddled in. And his first run was pretty good too. He was a bit unlucky first time out. I thought that, um, you know, he was beaten by Ebili. And it will be interesting to see how Billy goes with him. But I'm going with fine one strongly as the danger to the uh, Bortus runner. Race two, maiden plate, 1,200 meters, six apex predator. This looks like the business. Um, very, very nice first run, but it was at any price. But that was quite a decent field. I think that um, uh, going back over the course and distance uh, should run really well. Heaven's Will would be a big danger, but they've taken the blinkers off, and his best two runs were with the blinkers. Now, why would Dennis have taken the blinkers off? Only because he would have thought that maybe the horse doesn't need them. But uh, really hard to believe that that horse um, uh, should not have the blinkers. So just watch to see if the update shows them back on him. Mama Magic, I think, might be a uh, runner here. Uh, Tony Rivlin, Matthew Thackeray has been uninspiring, but uh, gets a chance here. Maybe he will get it together. Race three, maiden plate, fillies and mares, 1,600 meters. I think Vian's Queen's the one to beat. It is 6 to 10 in the bidding, so there's no uh, brilliance in that. And then the two Campbell runners, Sweeter Than Honey looks to be the stable elect number two. And Harve de Gras um, really ran on very, very well as two runs. And if uh, Rachel had the pick, I think she picked the wrong one because half the grass certainly looks like the better of the two. Blue Horizon, uh, Lorena gets the ride on big, big plus. Race uh, four, maiden plate, 1,600 metres. I'm going very strongly with three, Rock of Bismantova. This is my play for the day. I like the blinker strike. I like Gavin Lorena. I like a lot about this horse. I surrender. Now, here's a horse that I've been following, and we tried to buy him on that sale. Uh, he just went too much money. But uh, anyway, I think he's quite a nice horse, I surrender. I'm looking for big improvement from him, but it's, he just looks sharp for him still. Send me, favorite, Richard Fauré, two good runs, no value. And Trivet Burke um, uh, from the... Uh, Fanzel outfit. This might go well here too with Imaginable. It's a, they look like the three that can't win this, but there are the rest all look like they've got some sort of chance with Rock of Bismantova, the right one. Race five, Merry Rated Handicap. They go 70, um, 1,600 meters. And I really like the look of Ballroom Blitz. I think this is a perfect race for a Gavin Lorena gets a leg up for the Bordas outfit. Miss Gibson, second run after a rest. That's against that one. Lily Bell, same thing. Bosne. Take a close look at Bosne as um, a horse that might just upset the apple cart. Uh, course and distance, one from one. Gets a two and a half claim. Should go well. Race six, merit rated handicap, 1400 meters. Two Holly Streets, my top choice. Richard Fourie for the Riverland outfit. I think it will be very hard to beat. Uh, and seven, Eddie the Mover. I really like this horse. Carty was declared to ride it. Thank goodness we've now got Gavin Lorena. I think that make a big difference, and he makes it a big, big chance from front-running tactics. So I do like Eddie the Mover to go well here. Race 7, Marula Sprint, 1,200 metres. Well, if you look past William Robertson, you look at the field, because 
William Robinson looks like an absolute penalty kick. Go back to the last run. He beat good traveller pretty easily. Meets him on exactly the same terms. No reason why he shouldn't go in again. He has gone down to Durban twice, but that doesn't seem to be a problem once a month. Um, and he's just a big, strong galloper. And uh, Gavin Lorena rides him extremely well, hard to beat. Uh, if he does get beaten, yeah, all these horses are course and distance suited. Eight Ultra Magnus, nine Corn Spinner, ten Sunblush, and eleven Beach and Wood Boy all got chances. So they might be the only ones that could beat him if he does get uh, beaten. Race eight, uh, merit rated handicap. They got twelve hundred meters. I thought that. Um, Six Maggie Smith was the absolute business here. Two very good post maiden runs get Richard Foree. That's a huge plus, and uh, looks like perfect, perfect distance for Maggie Smith. This is the one for me. Uh, Shona Kirsty Ives, I think, is a big danger. Got very good form as well and should run well. So we should be able to um, put some things together that could win us some cash today. Have a very good day on Sunday, and remember, Arsenal. Le, uh, what are their names? L -l Liverpool. Liverpool. They can't beat Arsenal. No chance. Let's go, Arsenal.